Are you ready to turn your opinions into cash? Join the Surveyo community today and start earning money by completing our paid surveys. Joining is easy. Just click the link in the video description to sign up and become part of our growing community. A front yard garden made havoc in a man's neighborhood causing the city to send him letters demanding to make changes. Ed Sternberg of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, six miles west of Milwaukee, had more than 170 species of plants as a wildflower native landscape meant to be good for the ecosystem. I simply want to be a good gardener and a good neighbor, Sternberg told Wisconsin Public Radio in October 2023. We're simply trying to work with nature rather than against it. The city didn't see it this way though, and said Sternberg sent him a letter saying he had just four days to clean up the garden. The letter said grass and weeds taller than six inches and needed to be removed or he would face fines, per WPR. Sternberg explained he complied with the order to not stir up any trouble. I did my best to just preserve a standard lawn. Sternberg told WPR at the time. Just the same thing everybody always does out of lack of imagination and fear of their neighbors and the city. The demand came after three neighbors complained out of Sternberg's yard. You can barely see the house from the street, one of the neighbors said in a complaint, per WPR. And people cannot walk on the sidewalk passing the house without getting scratched by the branches. However, Sternberg was not happy about having to remove parts of his garden and feels the city should have more understanding on the matter. I'm profoundly concerned, Sternberg said, and I would dearly like to see the city straighten out its act, both in respect to natural gardens and other issues. Fighting a city code violation involves understanding the citation, gathering evidence, and preparing a defense. Contact the enforcement officer for clarification, request a hearing, and present your case effectively. Moving forward, the city has asked Sternberg to provide them with AA landscaping plan to keep his garden from disturbing the neighbors. If Mr. Sternberg provides a landscaping plan and encroachment permit and if the board approves it, the citation would be closed slash resolved, the building safety division said in an email, per WPR. There wouldn't be any citation fees. The city enforced the code, however, it turned out that multiple people were on Sternberg's side in the city. Michaela Rosenthal with the Land Stewardship Team at the Urban Ecology Center backed Sternberg. It can be a bit depressing to know that there's something out there that can help sustain wildlife and encourage environmental curiosity, but it's being curbed due to an aesthetic, one that may or may not be your own, Rosenthal told WPR. Neil Dibal is the president of Prairie Nursery highlighted how maintaining laws is one of the worst ecological actions we can do. We defy nature at our own risk, and we are defying nature with lawns, Dibal said. They suck water, they are an ecological burden on the planet, and it's the last thing we need right now. They believe that everybody should have a lawn and they should conform to their reality. But that's not American. That's not freedom. That's not the way it should be. Jimmy Shit of Texas ALS received a $200 fine for having his seasonal plants in his garden. He had dozens of them planted all around his home, but the city said it was not allowed when they thought the flowers were weeds. But it ended up a better situation in the end compared to Sternberg.